Here we go. Did he hit that clean? Oh. <laughs> Obviously unsettled. Threw him for a major loop there. Took him two shots to put the ball away instead of his customary one. 15 love. Regina, Peter's wife, is expecting their second child in July. Oh. Oh, he just jumped on that a bit too quickly, didn't he? That's a tricky shot, though, yeah. Pat. You're yeah, not it's quite sure how to handle that one. It's bouncing straight up, of course. It's not coming at you. So you have to, in a way, make your own pace. Particularly when you're nervous. Everything is a lot tougher. <laughs> Foot, feet didn't move there. That's a sign of nerves. Really yeah, it's They're... amazing. That's certainly... When I got nervous, that's what happened to me. I just couldn't move my feet. I just didn't seem to... They seemed stuck to the ground. And uh, it took me a while to move, move better. And, you know, it usually take me a couple of games. Especially on the ground strokes. I could always run forward in the net, though. What's the sun like down there? Well, there doesn't appear to be a cloud in the sky at this point at about 2.15, 2.20 in the afternoon. I don't think it's a problem on this side for quarter. Nerves more of a factor at this time. Juice. It is going to be awkward for the left-hander from the southern end, from the other end at this time of the day. I mean, there's no doubt these two guys are going to be uptight. It's just who's going to settle down first is the issue. Just for the record, Rios defeated Corda here first round last year, 7-6, 3-3. and Corda has one win, Kibiskane 96, on hard courts. That was a tight 6-4 in the third, best of three set match. Some brilliant shot making, unforced errors, quarter holes. Surprised uh, quarter completely. Our quarter's uh, looking to conserve energy awful quickly. <laughs> they made no effort whatsoever for that forehand.
taking okay. a look at the five set matches Rios has played. Interestingly, 7 3, which is better than a quarters 12 and 11, I believe, coming into this final. Rios has won his last seven. <laughs> so I'll tell you, if this goes five, I'll tell you who has the edge in this match, Marcelo Rios. The question is, can he get there? He said things turned around for him when he came from two sets to love down and two sets to one down last year at the French against the Black Brothers. Well, two things he should have learned from that turn. One is he can come back from two sets to love down, which is good. The bad thing is that he put an awful lot of energy coming back, ended up losing the round of 16 to Arazi, talented Moroccan, because he didn't have a whole lot left. And we saw Arazi here can string some shots together like he did against Pete Sampras. But you got to be careful. You don't want to play. That, that's what happened at Scude. I mean, he had his miraculous run three sets, three times, two sets to love down. But guess what? Tank was empty in the semis. Best of luck. Lost just three sets, Rios, on his way here and uh, quarter five. So he hasn't played a five setter at uh, the 1998. Championships. Oh! It's Donovan Bailey, who we had on Sports World today, the world record holder for 100 metres, an Olympic champion. Oh, that guy is a hero. <laughs> I'm, I'm big on sprinting. Yeah. A sprinter at school. Very Just aerodynamic like haircut, I thought. <laughs> Helps. 15. He made mince meat of Michael Johnson in a 150 meter race to the point where Johnson pulled up. Did his dubious out? little hamstring pull there? <laughs> Cut it out, uh, Mac. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to see it again. I'd like to see a rematch, that's for sure. That's it. No telltale signs early in terms of. It looks to me, Bruce, like they didn't warm up against lefties. I mean, they still haven't quite got yep. the feel here. Obviously, nerves is a factor, but still the feeling out process going on, despite the fact they've played six previous occasions, none as big as this. There was the part J.A. said the sun may bother the lefty on that particular side. He throws in the double. Watch Rios's front foot move. Just there. It's the interesting thing. Sampras moves his foot toe up and down. Does it every serve? Oh, Porter has just destroyed a couple forehands here. <laughs> He's really picked it up this game. I mean, Rios hits what he thinks is a good, deep, topspin four, and Corda just makes mince meat of it. Love 40. I have to think there's a little bit of a surprise for Rios against the left-hander. That ball is normally going into a right-hander's backhand, so he's going to come back more steadily, and against Corda's forehand, it got ripped back with interest. Thank you. 
Bullshit. Both players have picked it up this game. And this is still a big opportunity for the Czech. Get off to an early break. 30-40 now. Dropped low, got away with that, almost threw in the double. Oh. They had to love that second serve, really had court in trouble, and really would love to have that forehand back. Just with the doctor order for Peter Corda. Deep. I don't care if you're Peter Corda, you're not going to hit a lot of winners from that position. Uh, Rios has been dropping the ball a bit short. I mean, a sign of nerves, really, more than anything, I would have thought. That gives Corda the opportunity to really have a go at some of these ground strokes. Well, I think that's just about Peter Corda's best shot. Sending him some amazing passing shots off that one. One right down the middle. It's giving him no angle, but he seems to be able to create a beautiful shot off that one. Helps being 6-3, and he's flattened out that forehand. Tremendous shot. Thanks. That's it. There was an example of a ball that was pretty deep, but didn't have anything on it, so Corder is talented enough that he did rip the winner from the baseline. surprised Rios slid in on the second serve he's done very little of that his last couple years serve volley particularly on a hard court surface had a gimme volley looked up at the sun maybe a few people believe I missed it because the sun was in my eyes if I look up Not see it, but he doesn't have that, that quickness, that jump in his legs yet, which he clearly like to have. But it's, it's it's obviously you know, once again the nerves. He just hasn't been able to quite get the feet moving. That's cost him that point as well. 15-40 now. 13-14. I'll tell you, both players though, the last year or two have improved their serves. They have more zip on the serve, winning more free points. Good time to do it there. Beautiful fluent action. A slight hesitation in the early part of the swing. Good extension at the point of impact, which gives him good clearances over the net. He's up at 60% of first serves in. Rios just at 30%. Interesting couple of games, weren't they? Breaks, firstly on Rios, but then immediately on quarter, so we're back on serve. Well, if you look at the stats over the years, the highest percentage of breaks occur right after you've broken it. So what's your theory on that, John? Does the receiver lift or does the server tighten? Both. Actually, and that's why you see it more often than any other time. And then inevitably, the returner quarter being again, and we'll try to pick it up once again as he did this first point. A return gift there from the Chilean. So they're even in, in gimmies. 
No way Marcelo should have missed that. He actually was a little too far away from the ball. Love 30. So if I were Rios, I would try to keep these points nice and long and make quarter run early in this match as much as possible. The problem is he's so uptight that he hasn't, he, he's going for too much. Quarter with three breakpoint chances once again. Oh. Game horrible oh. game there. You would have thought after breaking back that things would start to settle down, but no. Quarter breaks once again. 4 2 first set. You just wouldn't fancy it get broken here and well, that can happen but he's had one warning already hasn't he quarter in this set having got a break and then been broken you'd fancy he'd hold here It's just not happening yet for the Chilean. Ball's flying on him. He's missed some easy balls. Hasn't won many free points on the serve. Corda only too happy to take advantage early in this match. He's learned that shot where he lifts up one leg. <laughs> Didn't work for him either. Well, he only played eight points in those two games and quarter won them all. And leads five games to two in the opening set. Well, we had, I'm looking for the five setter, so uh, things are just getting going as far as I'm concerned, but Marcel's got to pick it up here. Couldn't miss that even if he tried. He's got some new balls, a little zip. Let's we'll see if he can hold here, at least make quarter serve this out. Put some pressure on the check, which hasn't really taken place yet. Well, I mean, I think Rios at the moment is just happy to sort of try and get the ball back in the court, you know. Not, he's not really loosened up yet, has he? Close on that one quickly. Kept coming forward. Well, the guy I used to love to watch, who took the nice little steps, my old buddy Vitas Garolitis, God rest his soul, always seemed to be balanced. Quarter looked a little off balance, lunging for that volley. Oh. Vitas Garolitis won the Australian Open in the 70s. 77. Big final with them. Um, Beat John Lloyd in yep. five sets. Cramped up again. Let's go. He's doing exactly what Corda wants. So not only is he tight, which we all knew coming in, but he's not he's not making Corda work for the points. He's this has been a virtual uh, gimme. Uh, they've only been on the court a half hour or less. Just what the doctor ordered for the check. But believe it or not, even though he's well behind the baseline, look to guide that a little bit. Just missed the ball wide. He's got so much feel that he, <laughs> even from that position, he's guiding shots.
Porter continuing to dictate play, and you hit shots like that, you're going to win a Grand Slam tournament. Looks to me like Rios is either half expecting or half hoping that Court is not going to get these balls back, that he's going to win a lot of free points. And so far, it has not happened, particularly off the serve. Court has not had a lot of trouble with Rios' serve. to talk about it on clay or grass more so than in this service, but when you go behind your opponent, it's tough to stop that body on a dime and start going back the other way, and Rios nowhere near that. This is set point now for Peter Corda. Juice. Corda's looking for that ball to the forehand, that serve to the forehand. He's making a shuffle across to cover that. Shuffle across the forehand on both first serves, just here. If you're playing a lefty, Pat, look for that serve out wide on the ad court. Advantage quarter. Just can't get anything going right now. Again, set point. He just desperately needs to hold a serve, doesn't he? He's been broken in consecutive games coming into this one. So a second set point to Peter Quarter. feeling going into this match if quarter lost the first set uh, he would be in real trouble uh, so it was very important for him to win it uh, Rios losing the first set I think the match is still very much alive <laughs> we've seen quarter play like this uh, but not for three continuous sets a couple of times he's lost the third set run out of steam lost his edge and then come back strongly in the fourth and that's the pretty much the pattern of this match so far Porter has had, of course, is winning this set so quickly, well under half an hour, and at very little uh, expense, very cheap on the fuel. He's running like a little four-cylinder. He certainly started this game hot. The second serve ace and a, just a gorgeous backhand cross court. Beautifully placed, quickly to 30 love. That's when you're confident. <laughs> you come in on a shot like that. He just sort of meandered his way towards the net. Because he says, I'm so talented, I can hit the ball from anywhere. They used to call it no man's land between the service line and the baseline, that you did not want to hit balls from there. Well, that's, they're not telling the men's player anymore that in the 90s. Rio should have done more with that. Should have seen Corda coming in out of the corner of his eye. I don't know if he wants to trade shots with Corda either. I'm not sure that's the answer. But he's frustrated. He's down a set quickly. He's down 40 love, so. Corda didn't win a set against Courier in 92 at the French, so this He's on the board in Grand Slam finals in terms of having won one, so he's going to feel really happy. Well, he'll feel a little better if he loses in four. I'm not sure it'll matter a whole lot if he, if he ends up losing this in four. Game four. He's going to be pretty happy at the moment, doesn't he? He's going well. 
the sit up. He'll serve comfortably. Mm. A Grand Slam title in the Open era. I think it's 37 or something like that. The club. Mac and Cashier amongst it. Oh, his court is making Rios look a little slow at the moment, isn't he? He's certainly not getting into position. He's hitting a lot of winners. Court is hitting a lot of winners past him. That's interesting. Rios took a little bit extra step. He's a bit wider there. See how wide he is from the from the tee. Gave Corder the hold down the line shot, which he went for and just missed. There's a nice move there. A little serve volley, change things up. He's been around long enough to know that he needs to fix a few things here right now. Love one now at 30-15, the second game. And as Pat pointed out, he's got to get that those feet moving. He cannot afford to give the, this many free points to Corda. And also, Corda, I mean, Corda saw him serving wide again. And he missed the forehand the point before, but he didn't miss the backhand then. And Rios was right on the run. I don't know if it's a wise thing to, to be serving that wide on the backhand side. The second court, should we call it, should call it this match. Sir Cliff, Sir Cliff Richard, who uh, performed at the Hall of Fame dinner on Friday night when John Newcomb and Tony Roach were inducted. And he's serving around 40% now, Bruce, and that's uh, it's not going to get the job done. Correction, pilot, please. He started to call out. That was a... Uh, well, if, if that guy did call it, that was a good overall because it was well inside the line. He started to call it out. I'm not sure what he started to do, but his hands indicated uh, safe. Maybe Wayne McEwen thought he th the person was going to call it out. Bottom line is, fortunately yeah, yes. for Rios, he's held serve finally. Wow. Well, he needed a break, didn't he? He's been broken in three consecutive service game so he needed a lucky break maybe to get back it's one all do you guys feel well uh, John do you feel like um, the ball is flying a little bit today because of the heat very much very much the only advantage I, or good news is that it's been going that way the last couple days so the last three four days here has been quite nice but it hasn't been as hot and it's not as big an occasion so it does appear to be flying even more today. That ball certainly. We're likely to see a whole bunch of winners, but we're also like, likely to see yeah. balls well, like that. that well, that's normal with Corda. You know, that one went awry. <laughs> that's, that's nothing different. But when the conditions get light like this it, and you lose your confidence early in the match, it's, it's hard to regain it. So every time you seem to hit out at the ball, the ball takes off on you. That's an excellent point because it looked at 3-2 with Rios to serve that he had things sort of settled down, gotten the break back, and no, he tensed up even further. And he still hasn't loosened up yet. Guarantee he doesn't feel like he's really in this match yet. But in this heat, a couple points, you know, a point or two, a couple long points, big passing shot, a bit of a break, a let that could do the trick. Will not take much. For this young Chilean to get in this match. So far, Court has made it awfully difficult for him. He's about to explode. He said, All I'm trying to do, for God's sakes, is get the ball in the court. I can't even do this. This is this is pathetic. Surprisingly, quarter with more unforced <laughs> errors in this match. Sounds more like you, Max. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be hard 
screen. It's early days, admittedly, but uh, quarter 2 1 now in the second set. And uh, Pat up the top. Well, I've got an interesting replay we're going to try and get up. This is the last game, the last point. Check these backhands out. Tells the story, doesn't it, Pat? Uh, Rios a little tense, oh. pushing the ball into court, and quarter in full flight. He's deadly as soon as something gets a little short. Not even a little short, short at times, as we saw before. Oh. Yeah, maybe you're starting to say what you were saying before, Mac. <laughs> It's getting it's late early. Ball in the court. <laughs> See, now you understand. <laughs> 15, 15. This is where what, what I what I would do is you try to take a little bit more, take a little more. Uh, don't hit it quite as hard the first. Or put a little more spin on it. I mean, swing as hard, and go for placement. And then I would play points that's just like that. Well, really a, dig deep and make quarter work hard to win points. That's the first time he's actually had a chance to get round and hit that forehand that he likes so much. Because at the end of points, he's going to start hitting the winners when quarter fatigues, which will only give him confidence the next point. It's the best couple points he's strung together today. Been a big That's time to do it from Love 30. What were those guys yelling? Get me a cup of Chino or something? <laughs> <laughs> we could use a couple. And second though, we're so fired yeah. up that I'm not sure we need him. <laughs> Two all in the second. Well, he certainly stopped the rot, and he has to do it at the beginning of this second set. From two sets to love down, I don't think he's going to find a way to win. But he was down love 30, and uh, quarter was uh, starting to look awfully good. So he settled things down. Thanks. I agree with Mac. He's got to get more spin, not only on his serve, but in the back of the court. I think he's hitting a little bit too flat, and that's compromising his control. He needs to have that feeling that he's swinging at the ball and, and still got a little bit of margin to play with. It's very clear when Agassi uh, played against Costa how flat he could hit the ball at night and then when he played Gordensi during the day how much more work he put the ball on to give himself some tolerable margins. He went for the inside of the line instead of the outside of the line. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he really compromised. So much easier for the linesman to call that way. <laughs> for the time being, Peter Porter has so much confidence, he's hitting out full paced and making a very high percentage of these balls with very small margins. Not much over the top of the net there and just inside the baseline. It really flattens out the forehand. He's playing with the supreme confidence. few times court has been forced to defend slicing the ball deep Rios's forehand he opens up very nicely here and see the roll of the wrist you can get that spin that was up that was up quite high he's not guys was talking about getting a bit more of that spin on the lower balls lower higher middle <laughs> whatever ball like Jay said swing is hard but put a little bit more spin on it And things are slowly starting to come together for him now. He's scrambling a little better. He looks like he's a little bit more sure of himself. 
Take a look at Peter Corder's wife there, looking concerned but excited. Tomas Patera, second stint, stint, excuse me, as Corder's coach. Actually coached him a couple years ago. Then went to work with Martin Dam, a couple others, and now they're back again. Corder said, you're making a big mistake if you don't come back and coach me. <laughs> Fulfilled the previous commitment with Uli Rock and came back to work with Peter. Well, Rios disappointed, but uh, the Phillies getting back into it a bit. Quarter holding, it's three games to two. Quarter won the first set, 6 2. Rios's first serve percentage up. Still well below 50%. At five feet nine, it's absolutely critical that he's got full extension at the point of impact and uh, can't be compromised by a lowish ball toss. But I think at times he gets it up high enough, he just lets it drop too far. Doing enough of that ball, just dropping it in the middle of the court and letting letting Corder do what he wants with it. Well, Corder's crushing the short balls. You see, Rios is pushing the short balls, just move backwards, and that's not a good idea against a guy who hits the ball as well as Corder does. believe that he's playing really to be honest as poorly as he's playing not only is he doesn't have a feel but decisions he's making is just not making the proper tennis decision shot to hit that was just too good from quarter though but you would have liked to see him put a little bit more on that forehand he's got two break points they go up four two the second set Oh dear, 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 dear. Interesting turn of events. That is not a time. Down two break points and a set. It's not a time to get a bad call, is it, Pat? No, <laughs> not at all. I mean, if, uh, yeah, what can you say about that? This is what happens, you know, matches every day. Is that I don't know if that was clearly in or out. Good, good overrule. That was I... good overrule, absolutely good overrule. But I'm saying is that what a bad time to, for the guy to open his mouth. That's what happens. It's a break now. Can't tell me that these these line calls are not absolutely crucial when the final is straight and open. This, this could have caused, you know, a two sets to love lead. Well, McEwen, let's remember, overruled that and they played a let. Oh, I mean, that's what you had, you had to do. That's why I'm all for the electronic line system. Cuts out the human error. Set and 4-2 for the check early in this match, but it's, 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 it's moving along rather quickly, Bruce, from down this angle. No doubt. He looks completely confused, doesn't he, Rios? 1-8-4 for a quarter. He's got to keep himself from getting overly discouraged, though. He's got to pick it up mentally. until he went for too big a forehand. I'm not quite sure why he rushed things there. Unless he's not as fit as we know, as we thought. Well, fitness really shouldn't be an issue to this point because he just hasn't done that much work. But it is hard to understand why he went for such a big ball. There's going to be no benefit. It wasn't as if he was going for the winner. It wasn't going for a line.
course of that. Quarters, second serve now, picking up in pace. That one at 171, and I think that's a real uh, sign of super confidence. Appears much hotter up the Rios end of the court. It appears from down here that he's not real concerned about Rios's return or serve, so he's he's able to go for pretty much whatever he wants. If he misses it, he just kicks in his second serve, and after one shot, seems to be ahead in the point. Set is moving pretty quickly. It's 6 2 and 5 2 for Peter Corder. There was that moment a couple games back where it looked for a second like he was starting to get in the flow, but it's it slipped away. Sure doesn't look like he's got much of a game plan at the moment. We talked about it in the break. It sounds ridiculous, but you almost feel like he wants to go and have a bit of a cry. I mean, he's completely I, I want to have a bit of a cry, so I... <laughs> he's bordering on suicidal right now. I mean, nothing's working. It's, it's a total mismatch so far. And he's just in danger of letting the second slet, set slip away right now. Love 30. Crowd is stunned right now, Bruce. I never oh, thought we'd on. ask, where, where are the Swedish fans when we, <laughs> when we needed them? Well, he's got some fans here, but they just haven't had a chance to say anything, have they? Didn't scare quarter a whole lot at 5-9, serving and volleying there. Triple set point, oh, one save busy. there. Finally got a first serve in. Someone tell Rios he was down set point there. New balls for quarter. There was not too much wrong with the depth on the Rios backhand. Just another superb winner from Peter Quarter. And his confidence is again lifted to a new plateau. Boy, that was a close call. Rios not happy, but you talk about staying down with the backhand. It looked like he got the edge. It's always reassuring to hear an umpire say that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'd love to hear that. Especially, when you're, like down, especially when you're down two sets. Especially when you think he's missed it by about a foot. That looked wide to me. But the umpire's angle at looking at that ball from outside of the court may make it look closer to the line than it actually is. That's why I often think it's easy to call the ball for the, for the umpire on the far line. Well, it's easier for them not to call it at all, like Pat said. Get that electronic equipment working. Imagine if there was no mistakes. I mean, that'd be something. <laughs> We'd have nobody to blame, though. Well, we could come up with someone. Don't worry. <laughs> well, Rios thought he hit a good approach out there, but Corda said enough of that. I mean, Rios has got to hit him. Good approach shot. His reach and his volleying is not fantastic, but uh, I mean, he, boy, that was a great passing shot. Small mercy at the moment for uh, Rios. I just have not seen one point where Quarter has been breathing hard yet in this match. So that was just the way he'd like it, thank you. Rios gambled and it paid off. And the 
at this. Rios moves before Porter makes the backhand down the line and really rams it low and hard. Porter finding it impossible to control the volley. Again, Porter. Well, Rios in a real hole here. 6-2, six 6-2, two, six two, one love for Porter. Real soon. Love one here. How about right now? Got to admire though the amount of zip that Corda, not to mention the placement and the variety he has off the ground right now. It's frightening. It's particular to Rios. He stayed with that one. He's got to stay with his shots. Don't pull up. Keep his cool. John Pat talked about earlier about with was more pace today because of the conditions. The ball is getting to Rios so quickly, isn't it? From where we're sitting. And Escudé, in all honesty, which he, he did play in the heat a couple days, it was like a sitting duck. He had nothing left physically, so that was no test at all for Rios. I'm sure this is the first time in an open era a Chilean player has reached the finals of a Grand Slam event, so he'd like to do better than this. That's what he's hoping for. Some freebies. Take the pressure off a little bit. Hope quarter pulls, drops down a little bit. I'll give you an extraordinary statistic. Peter Quarter has committed 20 unforced errors. Rios only 22. <laughs> I don't believe it. The forehand winners nine to quarter. Five backhand winners three and zero for Chile. So he's winning it more than losing it. Yeah, a lot of misses today, isn't he? Notice that. Well, when you're Boy. nervous, you have a tendency, Pat, to take your eye off the ball, and he's giving us a lesson in nerves right now, how not to deal with the big situation, but there's not a lot of guys that have to deal with Corda, who's playing the best tennis I've ever seen him play at the moment. Oh! I mean, this tournament, other than maybe that Sampras match at the Open last year, beat him in the fifth set tiebreaker, I believe. Oh, no. Boy, he just cannot believe that this has happened. I can't believe this, this one side. None of us can. And the other thing... Uh, tight four or five set match, didn't we? Yeah. Well, I was quite uh, happy when Corda won the first set from the prospects of having a great match because I thought that Rios would always be able to upset him at least one set. But uh, Peter Corda is just spooky in that he is so calm and so contained and so matter-of-fact. Well, he's not erring. Bit of experience there, isn't there? He's a... Proves that 30-year-olds can play. And one of the greats of all time, Bill Tilden, didn't win a Grand Slam until he was 27. And he won a stack of them. I mean, that's a defensive shot there that Rio should be making. You know, he he float that back in the back of the court. You know, he's just got to get it over. Well, apparently that's easier said than done, Pat, at the moment. Oh, sure, but, you know, I mean, he's really got to dig deep. Here's a time where you just got to, you know, I mean, certainly you, you got to get that ball in. Yeah. I mean, that's an approach shot that is... A very easy shot. He can't let Corder have those points. He's got to batten down the hatches. He's got to fight. He's got to demonstrate to Corder that he's willing to fight. He sure he's hasn't, not going to lie down. He sure hasn't done it yet, Jay. Nope. His feet are just... Uh, Pat was There's talking about the glue effect. Uh, and he's got, he's got to change sneakers here, I think, on the changeovers. Because uh, <laughs> he's got a couple of packs on his feet. Sit at me from here, it's like they're stuck to the ground, huh? Yeah. 
Three love now in the third. Six two, six two, three love. Bailey, who won the Olympic 100 metres in Atlanta in 96 and broke the world record. First time in a while that Peter Quarters looked mildly uncomfortable. Stretching for that backhand. Clip the net that's post there. Not sure if that's good. If it hits that particular part of the post, went out anyway. 30 love. This is a surprise, an easy game for Rios. Uh, let's hope. Let's hope there's a match here. Yeah, I hate to see. see I, I hate to hope there's a match at the expense of the way quarters playing. I just hope Reels really picks it up. Not the quarter comes down. That's a good sign that he's still got some good feel. Yeah, cruel the way you can hit winners. He shouldn't be expecting quarter to miss now. I mean, he should know better two and a half sets into this match. The quarter's uh, in the zone. It looked once again like he half expected that ball to go in the net. Now it's 40 30. It's a bit of relief. He's on the board in the third set. Some people probably were betting it would have been love at three love. Look at Peter Corder's backhand here. Look, he doesn't move his feet hardly at all. No much, no more of this sort of put the other foot across. He was right open. It's allowed him to rotate his hips. And that's where his hips and his shoulders where Corder gets a lot of the power. Obviously the timing as well. There we go. Well, I think he thought going in that he could hurt Corder off the second serve. That ball kind of sat there. And that's what he's been waiting for for an awful long time. One of the slower second serves he's done at 124. Early in the match, Peter served a couple of uh, double faults with other timid second serves. Well, that was disconcerting to the players. Someone yelling out that it's out. That's it. Thank you. Well, you notice Rio stopped playing. Certainly, Corda hesitated, and that is a real no no. I mean, fans can do a little bit better than that. Love 30, exactly what he didn't want to do was just miss a forehand by 15 feet. Now that's a perfect example of a top player just taking his eye off the ball. I don't want to do that at any level. And there was a great, great opportunity. Really did well. They do something with that forehand return, but just flick that backhand long again. It's like he looked at an old friend just then and it had deserted him, his racket. Couldn't believe it. Well, John, I reckon Rios needs this, and boy, so does the match. Nothing against Corder. Well, this is when I come from this angle now, talking behind the mic, I'm looking forward to another couple of hours of tennis. I just don't want to be 
at quarter's expense, his game starts falling apart. Let's see Marcelo Rios pick it up and make this a tremendous final. Full attempt by Rios to chase that forehand down. Just when he is playing uh, his way into this game, and he needs to give absolutely everything. Admittedly, this is a great forehand by quarter, but he gives up halfway across. Could have got his racket to the ball. Maybe got it back into the court. You'd never know it unless you try. This is where you got to dig deep, though, because you know court is sucking wind a little here. Good chance for Rios. Another unforced error. It's number 26 for Marcelo. Couldn't have come at a worse time. Four-one. Quarter in control. Uh, needs a lift and needs a lift in a hurry. We'll try a half volley from the position he was in behind the service line. That is a tough shot. Got himself in trouble. Once again, Corda took advantage. That serve looked a little long. I'll tell you, both players thought it was long. Rios would be more than happy to take that. after that first point hiccup. It's that serve. See, it's the service picked up. It's made things easier, but unfortunately, <laughs> he's down a couple sets. Yes, yes he is, and uh, down 4-2, John, but I get the feeling that things are just turning just, just a little bit. He does not hit quite so cleanly off the back line. He missed a lot of first serves in his previous service game, and his second serve was down below 130 Ks for the first time. He was really nursing it in. That gave uh, Rios the chance to have made the break. So where there's life, there's hope. Great scoring system in tennis, isn't it? Doesn't matter how far you're behind, you can still manufacture a win, theoretically. Well, made no attempt for that. At this stage, even a, f a fake would have uh, made Corda think a little bit. But when you see him standing there outside the... The line, just say, go ahead, hit it to the open court. It's all yours. That's too easy. Of course, the likelihood is he would have lost the point anyway, but... Got nothing to lose at this stage, exactly. does he? <laughs> There's the uh, second serve again, a little bit tentative. Remember, he had break point the previous game. Well, the court has got to go off the boil at some stage. Sorry to go off the ball in the semi-final in the third set. He hasn't really... Off the ball yet. Well, that match in the semis, though, has a lot, lot, a lot of points were played. Tough points. Gutierrez made him work a lot harder than Rios has so far in this match. Once again, that lefty serve out wide. Rios just pushing that backhand back, and Corda can do anything with that forehand. The only place on the court where Cordes looked at all sluggish is a couple lunge volleys. 
Unfortunately, it's only happened about three or four times in this entire match. Once again, they're a little late getting to that half volley. 30 all. Desperate time for Rios. And Corda taking a lot off the first ball, wanting to get it in at just 160 Ks. That by a mile. Second serve has uh, deserted him. Oh, well, this is Rios' second chance. They often don't come twice. You missed, let the last one slip. You really can't afford to let this one go. Let's see how tough he can play this one out. I, mean, I think he's going for the right shot, get it down the line, hit a good shot, but he just his timing is just completely but, off. So far behind the baseline, he wasn't going to play a winner, even if he hit the ball virtually on the line. I can't understand why he went for so much at that moment in the rally. I don't think he went for that much, Jay. I think he just tightened up so much that he just nowhere near getting that ball in the court. Quarter is tightening up. That ball hit the ground. He indicated the ball was out just to help the uh, linesman. Very kind of him. He's on the verge of winning his first Grand Slam at 30. And there's some real luck. That's twice this game. His second serve has hit the top of the net and gone into court. Andres Gomez, another lefty, the last guy, 30 to 1, win his only major French Open. And you get the feeling if Rios can break here, he can turn this thing entirely around, so it ain't over yet. to miss that by uh, 10 feet in any direction. Bruce, I don't move. I'm sorry, Jay. I don't think that that Rios hit any string on that return <laughs> no, whatsoever. That was a one wood, wasn't it? <laughs> a strange point, huh? I mean, Corda came in off a very bad approach shot and just said, look, Rios, hit that past me. That uh, wasn't close to the line, didn't make him run, and worst of all, straight into his forehand. It's the first real sign of nerves. Obviously, early on, they're both going to be nervous, but clearly Corda now sensing victory. Hanging in there, 192 the first serve. It's been a lot of time and effort expended over the years for Peter Corder to get to this point. He is one of the valiant players who did come back from two sets to love down. <laughs> Against Jonas Bjorkman. Well, it's interesting he's tightening up a little bit it's hard to know exactly what to do when you've been winning the match so easily and your opponents make a lot of mistakes you don't want to keep you don't want to over hit you don't want to under hit so experience counts i'm sure the same thing would be just fine two sets four two the brain takes over that's the problem <laughs> And a big reaction to look happy to get that game yeah 5-2 third set <laughs> that's a chant some intensity in there and now peter's got to decide does he try to wrap this up at 5-2 or does he really take it easy this game 
Concentrate on winning your serve for the match. Oh, no, I'd be going to break. He certainly doesn't want a few nervous double faults like last game. Right, he's been down break points the last two times at serve, and that yell just showed the intensity that's uh, locked up in Peter Corder. What I think's amazing is it talked to you about this, Mac, before, but the the relief when you win a Grand Slam more than the, the ecstasy because you're concentrating so hard. Well, he's talked about enjoying the moment, and he's done a pretty good job this tournament. He's actually looked like he's, for the most part, enjoying himself. And he's almost there now, isn't he? he he's certainly enjoying things right now. Two points from his first slam. Witnessing the reverse somersault any second now. <laughs> Two championship points to a 30 year old. Hour and 23 minutes in. Peter, not sure about that call, but still has one more match point. isn't it? What a great moment for him. He must have played most of his tennis life thinking he wouldn't have achieved this.